Hey guys, welcome back to Piping Engineers. In today's video, guys, we will be looking after the piping interview questions. So basically, this is a main series which we are starting from today. In piping interview question series, we will be uh, doing different videos. Today, we have uh, used the valve questions that can uh, interviewer ask. In next videos, we will be covering your pumps, then compressors, and other mechanical equipments that we use in our in our in our plants. So guys, for more videos and updates, please like, follow and subscribe to our channel. So guys, let's begin our today's video and make you ready for your next coming interviews. So in interview in our uh, video, our first question is, what does class rating 150, 300, 600, etc. in a valve mean? So when uh, you guys would be buying a valve or preparing a technical specification for the valves, you know, there is a rating that we mentioned. So what does this rating means? So basically this rating is the maximum allowable pressure uh, that a valve can withstand or it is the maximum allowable working pressure of your system. So this rating is very important because if you have selected a valve and your system pressure or maximum allowable working pressure is on higher side, your valve may fail and it may not be able to sustain the system pressure. So this valve rating also indicates, uh, it, it also indicates the type of fluid being handled as well as the temperature range in which it can be used. So more details we will be covering in next question. So next question is guys, what does ASME B16.34 covers? So ASME B16.34 is essential to those who deal with flanged, threaded and weld, welded ended walls. So basically you can say in one line that this standard covers about the uh, walls, uh, basically threaded, weld ended and flanged walls are covered in this. ASME B16.3 for standard. The standard also covers pressure temperature ratings of materials, marking and other characteristics. So now the class rating which we were telling that uh, in last question that is 150, 300 and 600. So that that class rating is defined in your 16.34 standard. So for example, we have taken this material, let's say ASME A216 grade WCB. So this is a casted material. So if we have to uh, see the temperature rating or pressure rating so let's see let's uh, select this 150 pressure rating here so this 150 pressure rating uh, in temperature range of minus 29 to 38 it will be able to sustain the working pressure of 19.6 similarly for class 300 rating valve if you select so this uh, in this same temperature range the the pressure which it can sustain will grow and it will become to 51.1 so basically this is how we select the pressure temperature rating for walls uh, in SME B16.34. So first of all, we the material for the valve is known. So the, all the materials that are that are used in manufacturing of walls are uh, mentioned in this 16.34. And based on this, we define our system pressure because being a process engineer, we would be knowing what is the pressure that is flowing in our piping and the temperature uh, at which our fluid is flowing. So based on this temperature and pressure, we select the classes. So I hope you would have understood from this uh, uh, example very clearly that how class 150, 300, 600, maybe 2500 or 1500 is selected for a valve. Guys, moving on to the next slide. So our next question is why do glow walls have a higher pressure drop than gate walls? So for glow walls, we have a detailed video. I will put a link here. You can see it from the I section. So glow walls, you know, uh, first of all, they are uh, they are basically used for your controlling the flow as well as uh, they can be used in purpose of on off and off also. So glow walls, basically, they have a higher pressure drop than gate walls because of their uh, construction. Uh, in glow walls, the the wall uh, the wall body is designed in such a way that fluid has to flow in a zigzag motion or in a y direction or in a z type direction. So that's why because the flow has to change its direction many times, there is a considerable pressure drop inside the valve. So I have taken this example of Z type of glow valve. You can see the fluid once, once, once it is entering like this, it will go up and then it will go like this. So it is forming a Z shape here. And because of this changing flow, changing the direction of fluid, uh, let's say two times or three times inside the valve, there is a considerable amount of pressure drop inside the glow valve while in gate wall the flow is linear 
the flow one centers the ball it directly uh, in the same line in linear direction it goes outside from the ball hence the pressure drop in a gate wall is very less as compared to your globe wall i hope you would have understood the basic difference now next question is what are the classification of walls based on the motion of walls so maybe uh, this question uh, just to check your basic knowledge the interviewer can ask you and you have to be aware of that how uh, what are the different types of walls uh, on the basis of their motion so basically there are three types of walls on the mission of the basis of their motion one is your linear or motion walls next is your rotary motion and third is your quarter turn walls so in linear walls the example of linear walls is your gate walls glow walls so what happen is when we when we rotate the when we rotate the handle of the uh, gate wall or glow wall the spindle moves up and down hence the the uh, motion of the spindle is in linear linear direction hence this is these walls come under the linear motion next is your rotary motion so guys in rotary motion when the wall or the spindle is rotated with the help of a handle there is a rotary moment or a 360 degree moment for example your butterfly walls have discs inside it and when the handle or handle is rotated handle is rotated or the spindle is rotated there is a rotary direction uh, a rotary moment in the uh, in the disc and hence this walls fall under the category of rotary motion other examples are your but uh, ball walls plug walls eccentric and swing check walls are the example of rotary motion walls next is your quarter turn walls so quarter means your 90 degree so the walls which can on which can stay on or off when we rotate them in 90 degree like in one quarter so you know there are four quadrants so here quarter stands for when the wall is rotated when the handle of the wall is rotated in one quarter the wall gets gets open or close so this uh, quarter turn walls basically ball walls are the most prominent example of quarter turn rotary motion walls next is your what is fail to close and fail to open walls so this is also a very basic question and when selecting a control wall or when designing a process you should be aware which wall you need to select whether it should be fail to close or fail to open so guys fail to close walls i will tell you in a very layman language and general language fail to close walls are those walls when the power supply when the power supply of the walls is cut when the power supply of the wall is cut or, or let's say there is a problem in actuation the in that event in the uh, the uh, in that event the fail open walls will remain open while the fail close walls whether they are in open condition they will close so this is the basic basic uh, difference between so in fail to open walls have to be in open condition when there is a power failure means uh, if they are close also then also when the power will be fail they will come in open position because their actuator is fail to open type selected fail to close means when the power is in failure mode this walls will close at any cost so this is the basic difference i hope you would have got the difference moving to the next slide guys yeah what is a butterfly control wall so glow wall is one type of control wall but in many cases we don't go for glow wall uh, one thing is because it's very uh, huge in size and another the cost part is very much so their butterfly walls with the help of actuation they are used as control walls so they are used in large size piping network i told you because if you go for large size piping network glow wall they will be really huge and for low pressure drop areas where control wall and soft seated control wall are used so metal seated are used for high temperatures so whenever there is a clean fluid and whenever the network pressure is very less we go for we go for butterfly walls as a control wall even the gases which have very low pressure uh, in the network uh, we use we control them with the help of a butterfly control wall next question is guys explain the set pressure so set pressure it is the inlet pressure at which a safety or relief valve is adjusted to open so let's say it is the minimum pressure uh, or the set pressure so when uh, at which your set pressure valve will open when there is a uh, rise in the network pressure so this pressure is set without any back pressure on the discharge of the valve so this is the uh, basically sort of safety uh, valve that we use in our plants so i have just captured one more image to you get you guys basic clarity what are the different types of valves this can also be a basic question that your interviewer can ask so different types of valves so first is your gate, gate valves guys it is used for on and off 
Next is your glow wall. It can be used for on and off and control services. Plug walls. Uh, after that, your diaphragm walls, ball walls, guys, butterfly walls, needle walls, check walls, pressure relief walls, control walls, steam traps, and strainers. So these are the basic walls. I guess you should learn after watching this slide here itself that these are the basic type of walls that we used in different processes to control our system and to make it meaningful with the help of these walls. So guys, I hope you would have learned something in today's video. So thank you for watching the video. For more videos and updates, please like, follow and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.